interesting confrontation coming up now, folks. That mask, Gino Brito, really does nothing to hide the fact that the man under it is, of course, Abdullah the Butcher, all 450 pounds, notwithstanding and regardless of what weight he may have been introduced by the ring announcer. He's wrestling against Sheik Ali, a man of many accomplishments worldwide, a man who has held championships throughout the Middle East and Europe, managed by Eddie the Brain Preachman, who for many, many years, Gino Brito, and you're well familiar with this, managed Abdullah the Butcher. That's right, and uh, you know that mask he was wearing, that's a ninja mask, the influence of Japan. And did you see that big stick? Speak softly, carry a big stick. Well, that's uh, Abdullah's cradle right there. And oh, did you? I saw Poor him. Poor Eddie Creechman. I cannot believe Eddie Creechman, the beatings he's taking lately at the hands of some of these wrestlers. Well, and Creechman, if I could give him a little warning, stay away from Abdullah. He's just too big for you. Well, you know, Abdullah's about three times the size of Eddie the Brain. Hey, he lost his glasses, but not his cigar. He's calling for his glasses right now. He can't see without his glasses. He should get away from there. Abdullah the Butcher is just too dangerous a man. But going up against Sheik Ali, 275 pounds. Oh, oh, look at great this. shape. Look at that. There's Creechman and Dave Pak Singh, the current manager of the Butcher. And Abdullah's down in the corner. And Sheik Ali, as you said, Gino Brito, a 275 pound individual who stands in the area of six feet four inches in height he's a tough individual an accomplished wrestler and he knows every dirty trick in the book the action is outside the ring right now between the two managers but Sheik Ali right now has got the upper hand you know one of the that Sheik Ali a natural athlete mill 275 pounds I still say he has the best drop kick in the sport that may well be but we are seeing the devastating toll that those far eastern judo chops displayed by abdullah the butcher are having on sheik ali on that headbutt puts him to the canvas and there there's abdullah once again going after his former manager the brain eddie creechman and when he does so sheik ali comes over whoa did you see the insult creechman just put on they pack Singh by pulling his turban off, Gino Brito. That's right. Creechman would do things like that. But right now, let's get back to the ring, Milt, because it's interesting to see that Sheik Ali does not back away from Abdullah the Butcher. Again, he's trying to split open these old scars of Abdullah. And he know, oh, he, is he hurt, Milt? I don't he's know, Gino. right now. But you know, the interesting aspect of this match, really, particularly after having seen that match between Bravo and Abdullah all the way over in Tokyo, Japan, is that this is the first instance I can ever recall, not just in my tenure working with professional wrestling, but going back to when I was a kid as a fan, that the fans have been solidly behind the Butcher. That's right, they are right now that it's a turnover for Abdullah, and you know why that was caused. Again, it's, it's Eddie Creechman that has something to do with it when he had it. Abdullah has, a, has his protege in there and he turned on him and I'm so glad that finally Abdullah is there to take care of Eddie Creechman and his cohorts. Well look at this, the look on Abdullah's face after receiving, well two in an attempted third right hand punch to the top of the head. He came back with a judo chop of his own and now whipping Sheik Ali, whoa what a shoulder tackle. Anybody, Gino would have to go down from that. It's like hitting a Sherman tank, Milt. The way Abdullah's built right now, at four, I put him at 450 pounds. Oh, he has the, to be. Oh, the way he hit, but still, you have to give credit where credit is due. Sheik Ali is still 275 pounds, and you'll recover from that, I'm sure. Well, there's no question of that. And you know, a 275 individual having the height that Sheik Ali does is a big man, Gino Brito, but he looks small compared to Abdullah the Butcher. Everybody looks small compared to Abdullah the Butcher. An elephant would look small next to Abdullah <laughs> the Butcher. Well, Sheik Ali doesn't appear tremendously anxious to re-enter the ring right now. He's on the ring apron. Abdullah solidly standing his ground inside that squared circle as Sheik Ali comes back inside. But he's holding on Abdullah, but no, the pleading had no effect whatsoever. Abdullah in utilizing those judo chops again and whipping Sheik Ali, greeting him as he comes back off those ropes with a solid right to the jaw. Very quickly, Abdullah moving 
scooping and slamming. Setting him up for that elbow, elbow drop, I believe. And uh, consider yes, 450 pounds behind that elbow drop. One, two, that's all she wrote. Work three and with the elbow drop. And he just stayed in position. Abdullah the Butcher victorious in this match against a more recent protege of his former manager, Eddie the Brain Creechman. That, of course, being Shikali. Look at that. Abdullah going back after Creechman another time through the oh, steel no. chair at him. Please, now, please, Abdullah. Grabbed him by the hair. What's he going to do? This, I, I don't know, Gino. Creechman, one third the weight of Abdullah the Butcher, who just. Well, he really didn't put his full force behind that as he tossed Creechman into that chair. He's got to have a little pity for Creechman because, let's face it, I believe he could kill Eddie Creechman. Well, I don't think but he, he has to, any pity He wants whatsoever. to teach him a lesson. That's what he wants to do. Well, Will. he feels that Creechman for years not only used but abused him, Gino, and that's the crux behind this whole hate situation but between Abdullah the Butcher and Creechman and anybody for that matter who Creechman manages or represents in any way. And for his part, Creechman looking continuously for someone that he can sign that can put Abdullah hopefully out of the wrestling profession permanently. Well, I know, but uh, I'll tell you, sure there are some big men in professional wrestling. I can uh, think of a few right now, guys like Steve Strong, the Sheik Ali's of the wrestling world, all that. But to put Abdullah away, it'll be something else. Well, that may well be a task that is impossible for virtually anyone. In the meantime, Abdullah the Butcher did defeat Sheik Ali, and Eddie the Brain Creechman took his lumps. Let's take another peek. Well... We're taking a look at how Sheik Ali was whipped across the ring and then put to the canvas. I'll tell you something, this guy, Abdullah the Butcher, can take punishment, but boy, oh boy, oh boy, can he ever dish it out as well. Take a look, folks, 450 pounds behind that elbow drop. It's no wonder that Sheik Ali took one, two, three, and now, folks, we're going to take a look at the rematch between these same two individuals.